Good afternoon. My name is Edward Morrison. I'm a vascular surgeon at Coastal Vascular and Vein Center. Venous closure procedure, or now been renamed Venefit procedure, is an extremely effective procedure we do for patients who have problems with their veins and their lower extremities. It is a procedure done under local sedation with minimal sedation by mouth. It is an outpatient ambulatory procedure. It is something that I was very involved with bringing here about 12 years ago and dramatically changed, truly in a quantitative fashion, how we take care of venous disease in the legs. Until that time, as a busy vascular surgeon, I would go months before I stripped a vein. A vein stripping is a miserable procedure, didn't work, was ineffective, not only physiologically to the underlying vein problems, but also a cosmetic disaster. So most vascular surgeons stayed away from it. I did. Um, the, 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 again, the quantum leap came when someone realized with the utilization of ultrasounds, which are now almost handheld, and the understanding of what's going on with the major veins like the saphenous vein in your leg, that one can put a device in there and utilize a form of energy to shut it down so blood's not going in reverse. Venous closure or benefit is probably the most common procedure we perform in our practice. And interestingly enough, singularly the most effective. Extremely effective. Risk associated with it. We, when we first started doing it, and I'll be honest with you, I've been doing it a good long while, I was um, terrified and panicked and said, wait a minute, I'm putting something in a vein. Help me out here now. I'm going up near the groin and in the leg and I'm going to apply energy and take this vein and turn it into a, a scarred core um, where blood's not going in reverse. How do I know I'm not going to get blood clots? Well, that, that does, does spook you, what's called deep vein thrombosis or blood clots. We are extremely judicious about where we put the catheter. We have accredited vascular technicians, technologists who work with us. Uh, that we are intimately looking at the images as we do it. So we are proud to say, and we're doing close to 100 a month sometimes, we, we've never had a deep vein thrombosis. And so we don't want to have any deep vein thrombosis, which is a blood clot. That's the number one concern. Um, the first generation of, of venous closure catheters, about 7% of them would recanalize and the vein would come back. We, We've not seen that with this second and third generation of the catheters we use. So the risks are really, really very small, truly very, very small. We've had no infections. It's done through, again, a needle stick. We don't make a cut. Um, we, we've not, it, it, it is a procedure that has almost got a risk profile that's, that's non-existent. It can take seven to ten minutes, it can take 20 to 30 minutes. A lot of that's dependent upon getting access to the vein, patient's body habitus. Um, some patients are a little bit anxious and their veins can go into spasm. Most of them last under 15 minutes. Interestingly enough, we make somebody that has a, have a driver because we give them some value by mouth. We don't want them driving for three or four hours. Um, most people are back to work, if not that night, the next day. Um, you can exercise the next day, you can, uh, you're fully functional, so it is a pr procedure with extremely minimal morbidity or pain and dysfunction. We don't write narcotics or pain pills for it, and I don't think I've ever been asked by a patient for pain pills for this.